Star Wars The Last Jedi is here. Now this is going to be spoiler free and it'll probably be pretty short because it is spoiler free. When I'll do the spoiler review, I'm not sure yet. I might want to see it another time and I don't think I'm seeing it again till Saturday. I was planning on seeing it tomorrow, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen, which is, you know, it's all right. This is one of those films that I really feel like <laughs> it's a ton to process, man. So much happens in this film. I don't want to try to like sway you one way or the other by being like, oh, blah, blah, blah. like all I can say is that clearly, you know, I am a fan. Um, one thing I can say is that I really do like uh, what Disney has done with with Star Wars. So if you're a person who just hates The Force Awakens or Rogue One or like what Disney's done with it, I don't think this is, I don't mean, this is different enough that I think that you might like it more than those, but it's still going in the direction that Disney is going with this. And I think that it was a great step forward. I mean, I am just, as I said, it's one of those films where I have to process it a lot, but right now I'm like on a nine out of 10 kind of thing. Like, and it ain't going to go down. It's only going to go up from there. So <laughs> I made so many assumptions during this movie. And, and I think that's another problem that you can run into is like, you get following it as closely as I do and reading all the books and following all the, you know, Jedi Council and Star Wars Explained and all these different shows and, and, and researching it myself and getting, you get all these like preconceived ideas going in and because you have been hypothesizing and speculating for so long, it's almost like nothing can live up to all that because you throw out so many crazy ideas and then it's just one thing and it might not be the thing you even thought and then it's like, well, shit, man, now all of that's gone and all of that's, you know, it's a ton to process in that moment. So I think that's what makes that hard, but I really think that this was a bold, bold movie. It takes a lot of risks it is not predictable, you know, and I think another thing that people were worried about was like, oh, well, The Force Awakens is a rehash of A New Hope. I think that's bullshit. I definitely think that there's similar beats, but that's for a different discussion. Um, but I know a lot of people were worried like, oh, this is just going to be Empire Strikes Back. This is not Empire Strikes Back at all. So, yes, there's little things you could take and be like, well, that's from Empire. And that's from Return of the Jedi. And that's, and it's like, these are such minuscule little things to, but structurally and, and the story and the places that it go, no, this is nothing like that. And I think there's going to be a lot of surprises in here for people because, man, when I went into this, I was just like, I wonder if they would do that. And I wonder if they did this. And I was so just, yeah, I was open to all of it, but I was also kind of like, yeah, they're probably not going to do this. And whether or not they did those things or what. I was just very surprised by a ton of decision in this movie. I was shocked a couple times by things that happened. I, man, I had an amazing time just being immersed. It's two and a half hours long, longest Star Wars movie ever made. And it just, <clears throat> it could have went on for another three hours. I was so, this has possibly the best third act in any star wars film that's how incredible the third act is and there's so many scenes in this movie that are in the top top of star wars scenes of all time i mean there are a ton of them i can just pick off the top of my head being like oh my god oh my god like holy shit that just happened that was amazing this is fuck you know this is incredible so, very happy. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the new book, Cobalt Squ Squadron. I always have a hard time saying that. Cobalt Squadron that comes tomorrow. Um, I don't know how many of my followers here read any of the Expanded Universe stuff, the new canon, whatever. I know that one of my, one of my subscribers does. Um, so I definitely look forward to talking about that. But please, save any spoiler talk of any sort 
for my spoiler discussion thread. Do not post any in here. I will delete them immediately. So don't be a dick. This is something people take very seriously. If it's not serious to you, then why are you even watching this? Like, come on, let's keep it cool. Let's keep it friendly. Um, I am, but I do want to know, like you can at least leave like, oh my God, I thought it was amazing. Oh my God, this was terrible. You're a total idiot. Whatever, you can attack me all you want. I don't give a shit about that, but no spoilers. Um, but yeah, I was pretty damn happy with everything. So many, you know, some cool new characters, some great new locations, some great action pieces, some twists and turns and, and, and things that I, you know, whatever. It was, what a time, man. What a time. I'm high on this movie. Oh, I've been waiting so long for this. It's just like, it's here, it's finally here, you know, done. And you're just like, oh my God, it's happening. So it is a lot to process. Anyway, uh, please let me know what you guys thought. Uh, what you guys thought. I'm, I'm so curious on what the response for this film is going to be because it is so bold. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the, like, the general consensus is going to be. So... I'm going to be looking forward to that in the days to come. So, all right, guys, until next time.